got some rare things yeah, on What are you buying? Just in case I get stuck Is that again. old? <laughs> let's, uh, Thank you. Let's put some more bullets in there. What are you buying? Now, why am I, why am I doing selling? this when I know that I don't have anything new? It's just, just in case. Come just back. Just in case. Alright. I was clenching all the way through that. Both my butthole and my face hole. Oh, and now all the the sinews around my face hole hurt. Moving on. Let's um we're going to Bug Town, I think. I think. Bug Town is a big bunch of bullshit. Even on standard, so let's see how this goes. I'm gonna dick it up. Faux show seven go. This is not where I wanna go, is it? Um I cannot get my shit straight out here. On this place. To, wait a minute. He's too confused. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot about this. Um. Maybe we can kill a dude or two before they get. Oh, like this guy right here. Look at him. Having a great time. Oh, I appreciate it when they get stand there. That, that works for me personally. Oh, we're not aim. We just had a grand display of danger and trying to aim, and we saw that. Really? Did I really just let that happen? Fucking reload. I ain't getting off to this start here in the new world. Let's go fight some guys. I'm so relieved just to see goons. Just regular old goons. Like goons. Goons don't break my balls. What the fuck was that? Alright. Goons. Look at him. He's a fucking goon. He's a fucking goon. I just felt like shooting him a little bit. Um. Worried about getting another scythe to the fucking face. Fuck you. Oh, feels good, don't it? Yeah, how's that? I know how I fucking feel in the rest of this fucking game. You know, if you think about it, you're the mob for the other side in a game. And if you can make them suffer, that's a good time. That's what I'm thinking. You can make- oh, we already gave the queen her cup. Yes, have your cup, dude. I don't give a shit. I did it. I did it! Alright, Ashley. Let's go in. Pretty sure this is Bugtown. Not quite. Okay. Well, because I don't look at maps, because that's like reading. Um, let's, let's break some shit. Huh. But there's some like amazing playthroughs of this game because it was so loved. Because it was fucking rock solid to play. <laughs> really? Where people are just fucking owning the shit out of it. Now I find the castle to be the most boring place in the game. I like the village and then the island. But I hear people rip on the island like, oh, really stupid should have been in the game. Um, I disagree. I really liked it. It was more my style. Military outpost. Makes you feel big. Alright, let's see here. Okay, maybe that's Bugtown. There. Yeah, this feels like Bugtown. I didn't know about this for a long time until I did it by accident. Even though it's on the map! A lot of shit you can read from, uh, or shit you can learn from reading, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. Yeah, you see this fucking dog shit right here? Let's just poke it a little. I mean, can you do anything with this? Kill it from here? No, I. 
would maybe have liked that. Oh, another lantern. Because it's bug town! This better not be as far back that I have to fight the knights again because... Okay, it isn't. I went on to the next part in the bugo room. Found all sorts of interesting stuff that we'll do again. And then I look over and I realize there's no bouncy schmouncy on the audio. Because the mic is flipping unplugged. Awesome! I guess we have to fight these guys again. I don't even know if I had that part recorded. I can't remember. But, Buggo Room turned out to be super cool. So let's get to it. Get the Buggo. this. I'm not taking a scythe to the face. I'm not doing it! Suck on this! Suck on this! So oh no, it's too close! Who about your shotgun? Oh, oh you love it! That's good. No! I'm not taking a scythe to the face! It's a matter of principle. You will not put farming equipment near my oral cavity. How about that? Why don't you flip right off, man? Maybe this time we'll get good eyes out of the bug holes. Interesting. Oh. Alright, so let's do Bugger Room. So Bugger Room was interesting. Um, because I maybe found some tech that I didn't know about before. Everybody else probably knew about it, but I didn't. Um, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I know. I didn't do it! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ow, ow, ow. New piercings, new tattoos, they hurt. Just be so I kept getting in a fight with the snake in here, but I know about him now, so fuck you, Snake Arena. I'm like a needy seal, I know what's going on. Can't stop this! Alright. Get this stuff. Now Ashley will just be with me. I'm gonna get the things. But then I discovered that if you fight the buggos. A certain way they cost like no ammo but if you get on the ground and fight the buggos they're very expensive wait. just stay here I don't care about you wait no I'm coming back this way it doesn't matter so she's just gonna pour it in anyway it doesn't matter. let's do this buggos oh boy every time you wonder what a bug sees it sees this and takes your girlfriend no commander for you Bye, buggo. Now I gotta get out of here before they touch me. More of them. Doing that crab walk. They are spooky. I like the design. I gotta get out of here, man, because they chased me. So what I did is I ran away like a coward because... Have you met me? Can you guys follow me? I'm still not convinced that... They can follow me through here. I'm just- Oh wait, new tech. Can I just sit here and kick the shit out of them? Look at this. This is even better than what I thought I found! So guys, do you have trouble with windows? What's going on here? But watch this, like, he's in the air, so he just falls down with the greatest of these. Oh, I like this even better than what I thought I knew. I like this a lot more. This is way more fun. I like this. This is good. This is real good. Oh, you guys didn't like that? I have all your stuff. Oh, we got blue eye! Totally worth it! Totally worth it! The, the microphone cable was playing 4D chess. Yes! Alright, let's see here. Yes, we can complete a lamp! We can complete a butterfly lamp. Ooh, Yakasha. Let's look at it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You know you love it. You know who will really like it? What are you selling? Oh, I was looking for a butterfly lamp for my bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. That was way better than what I did. I was all like, Whoa, man, did you know if you come up here, 
in the window, they'll just like fly and you can just sort of like pick them up. Why is it white? Oh, there's dudes on there. Interesting. So, we're learning. We're learning about... We're learning about a game there, guy. I kind of want ice cream. I have some frozen yogurt in the freezer that I might have to go spend some time with. Now that I've discovered this sick tech. Let's get whatever that guy dropped. I feel like I might get jumped again, but... That was awesome! That was extra cool! They can't handle windows! Unlike every other flying bug I've ever met. Now... So... Wait a minute. I don't trust this. What do we think happens if I shoot the hive? Looking nothing. Okay. Now if I do the thing, it's a lava. Will there be more bugs? That's when you do that. Are there more bugs? I don't see any more bugs. Okay. Interesting. Yes. No more bugs? Really? Kabooshkas! Now I'm kind of hoping for more bugs. I thought this was going to be just terrible. What's the point of this little walkway? It's not a walkway. Oh, so I guess we win. We did it! Not you! I know we're coming up to like button mashing extravaganza time and I'm really worried about it. Because I just can't. Hey man, I was thinking I should run back and see you, but you're already here. Did you hear about the butterfly lamp that I just put together? Welcome. Bro? Yeah, let me tell you about it. Got some rare Do things ya? on what are you I got selling? some rare things on sale too, friend. Wait till you see this RGB Pro Gamer ah. Lamp. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yes. I'm rich. What are you buying? I'm not buying fucking nothing. Oh, Is yeah, I, I definitely am. <laughs> Thank you. Um, broken boot there fly. You know Is what? Just old? make it big. <laughs> Thank you. I won't buy the other Magnum. I don't know. You know, just keep the keep the free Magnum. The moon through her. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay for now. What are you buying? No more big attache case. I think we have the biggest one, actually. What are you selling? Nothing. Come back at any time. Oh, I will. Don't you worry, friend. I'm gonna be there every day. So I found out yesterday that the last of my childhood friends is having a baby uh like the the core group and i'm so stoked man like she is such a wonky person like she was she was definitely the epitome of the individual in the group the rest of us just sort of pretended to be individuals but she just never gave a shit about nothing she's a uh she's a total cougar that daddy is in his early 20s uh, shock her we're not um and oh, uh, don't get me wrong i i love daddy i think he's i think he's a lovely young man who is way more mature than we are and i'm so excited but they're like okay so the the decorating is going to be cottage core and i was like what the hell is that and it's like frogs and mushrooms and stuff cuz i just couldn't wait as soon as she sent me a picture of the sonogram i was like ah you know cuz i'm a girl and I was buying baby stuff, and I actually found a little receiving blanket with mushrooms on it, and I'm so excited! Oh, you know how I said Mashville? We're here. Uh, Dane, shut up about babies. It's time to kill virtual things. But Dane, why don't you have a baby? Because I spend my time playing fucking video games. I ain't getting no babies when you do that. Ladies, if you want babies, video games. Ladies, if you want babies, multi massive multiplayer online video games you can have you will find a donor who will also marry you probably in no time 
But if you just hang out and play Resident Evil 4, you're you you're not you're not gonna find anybody. I don't need nobody! I got I got Leon. Let's do it. Can you imagine Leon at a baby shower? This guy I is a baby. If you can see me, Mr. Kennedy. I can! You're right fucking there! If you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. First we shall see if you can I keep losing, Ashley. I'll be waiting. Oh. Clock tower. Shit. Oh, the big dudes! I never noticed that the big dudes were like big buggos until I was like 20. And then I was like, whoa! I, I sort of shat my pants a little bit. Shat my pants more! If I had a baby, I'd be like, do they have Resident Evil receiving blankets? I'd be like, I want to do the whole theme zombies. Because I'm going to be one with my boobs hanging out. Just like milkers just trying to be uh, surviving the first child. Now I just need my last sister to make children. And there will be sufficient, sufficient amounts of small people that belong to big people that I like. That I can just spend money on because that's my jam is I love I love buying shit for people's kids. People that I like. Because, like, if I don't like you, why would I buy you anything? But also, if I don't know you that well, why would I? But I like kids. I like other people's kids. I don't think I'm cut out for it. Because have you seen my aim? That's how you know. If your aim is good, you're totally down. And the, the friend that is Pregos is uh, the one that uh, I keep referring to in the Parasite Eve playthroughs. I'm like, oh, my friends, you know what I'm going to go do. Yeah, that would be her. I'm kind of hoping that at the baby shower they're going to reveal that it's a girl and she's going to be like, we're going to name it Aya! I, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky because I don't think Dad gives a shit about that, but <laughs> she, I don't think she's as crazy as I am. But, like, Aya would be a nice name for a girl if you were all about video games. Wouldn't it? I always thought way less about girls' names. Because I'm a girl, so I thought about babies and marriages and all that jazz. That's part of what comes with the baggage. And I spent all my time thinking about what I would have named my sons. I don't really think about my daughters. Consequently, I've had neither. But I, I always just figured I'd name if I had girls girls in my life that I cared about. Lifelong friends or sisters. My mom, unfortunately, no, no way. Her name, not happening. It's not an ugly name. It's just not happening. But like, uh, her mom used to call her like a cutesy pootsy version of her name, that could have been doable. Like even for like cutesy pootsy compared to her like 1950s name, but it would totally have been acceptable if I produced a child and just named it that. I maybe would have done that. My dad's name. Uh, I think. Sorry, dad. It would have been a middle name. Uh, but I always liked for boys. I always thought Alexander was top top of the stock picks, man. Cause that's a toasty name with a few options for short name. Like, what's going to look good on your kid's office or on their business card when they're older? Or, you know, like, what's what's that going to look like? You know, when they rock up to, like, Robert whatever's office, are they going to be like, yeah. Like, Alexander Green. They'll be like, see, I always assumed it would be my last name just because I had no idea if I would ever marry. Uh, but it would be, it would be whatever dad's name is. I'm, I, I would, it would be his name. Unless his name was stupid. Like, I'm sorry guys, if you are gonna curse our children with bad names that people will make fun of, then it's appropriate, even in a traditional situation, for them to take our names. Because your name is stupid. But, there's not a lot of stupid names. Like, if your last name is Lipschitz, <laughs> like that, I think I can tell you no. No, 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 because again, what's it gonna look like on the kids? 
the kid's business card when they're older, right? When they're no longer a kid and they gotta make their way in the world. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, back me up here. But, I don't know how I feel about the hyphenation. That's like a... You know, that the only reason I would not want my own child to not have their father's name is because their father's name is stupid and evokes giggles more than anything else. So having it hyphenated doesn't really help. Green lip shits! <laughs> like, that's not gonna work. Uh, but... No, I don't know. Whatever. Teach their own. But I'm super excited. Another baby. I'm really stoked. That's uh, it's coming at a weird time though because like for me because it matters what happens for me is because when she's due, she's due in mid January. Right now it is the beginning of September, and I would love to be here for it so that I can just be like I'm like you know in Sex in the City there's the four broads and there's that one the dark haired one, um, Charlotte who was always like oh my god. Like that's me with my friends because I'm just so I'm so excited for them and stuff. So like that's my job is to be that annoying friend that's like no 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 you have to have like the best of everything. Let me come and help you. Let me make you tea. Oh my god, you're having a baby. Like uh, so maybe maybe it's good for them that I won't be here because I gotta I gotta move. In video game news, so ritual preparation. Thanks to the efforts of the Novistadors. That's kind of a kick-ass name for Bugmans that I totally destroyed because their weaknesses, Windows. We've been able to recapture Ashley. We shall prepare for the sacred ritual as quickly as possible and make Ashley an official member of the Los Illuminados. I'm losing the plot on this. While we prepare for the ritual, those of you who feel inclined can attend to our American friend. Me. I'm pretty sure Ada's American. We should be able to hold off our friend for at least a little while. Who is writing this? Is this Salvador? A little while by jamming the gears in the clock tower with something. You mean the little pieces of wood that I just shot? I think if we jam the gears in only three places, it should give us enough time to prepare everything for the ritual. Now go and entertain our American tourist. I do like that line. That's pretty good. You ever see turistas? There was that, that brief period in horror movies where, is it Eli Roth? Is that who I want to say it is? Who, like, is heralded as, like, a genius. Um, I mean, he's fine. He doesn't really tickle my tits, but he did, uh, oh my god, Hostel. He did Hostel, which is Gorno. It's just, the just Gorno. That's all it is. And don't get me wrong, I love me some Gorno, obviously. Um... But after that, he d I'm pretty sure he did Cabin Fever, right? Which never did it for me. The coolest part of Cabin P Fever was that kid doing a butterfly kick. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. Um, it didn't really do it for me, but... There was that period there after Hostel where there were kind of like Hostel wannabes. Wow, that looks great, huh? And one of them was Turistas. Where American tourists, they go to somewhere like in South America, I think. And, um, chaos ensues. In general, just be careful about going to other countries. Now, those movies, I feel like, might have been the movies that, like, if you were born in the 90s, like the late 90s, maybe, you might be like, those are the movies that taught me to be wary of traveling abroad. The movie that taught me to be weary of traveling abroad was called Broke Down Palace with Claire Danes and oh no I don't remember her name Kate Beckinsale and they go to is it Thailand they go to and they get duped into accidentally carrying drugs onto a plane but they're the decoys. Like, there's other chicks on the plane who are also carrying drugs, but they're the ones that get caught out by the cops, get tipped out, so they end up going to prison and all that. And it just 
ensues with the classic line of I didn't do it! Is, is really good. If you haven't seen it, I think it holds up, but I mean, I think my dad tells me that James Bond from the 70s holds up, so like, it, well, it does though, what am I talking about? It kind of holds up. It's a good movie, but that was, that was, I saw that with my older cousin, and <laughs> we were both like, okay, let's not, let's not ever travel anywhere outside of North America or anywhere where the Queen is not on either North America or the Queen is on the money because um, we'll die. I would like you to come off the fucking ladder please sir. Do you mind? No? Look at him he's just he's just throwing his arrows at me. I wonder if I can get a better line of sight on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Huh. Very excited about babies. One of the first things I looked up, because like I feel like I can do this with my my parasite playing friend, is uh, I was like, oh my gosh, they gotta have onesies that are like different Pokemon, so that like like I was never really into Pokemon, but like I know. I know I wouldn't say she was into it either, but like she loves that stuff. Like just weird stuff out of Asia. Like she, no offense, Asia. I don't know how else to describe it, but you know what I'm talking about. Like that kind of thing, anime. Like deep into it. She was the one who was like big into that Catherine full body game, and uh, who got me to play that. That I couldn't put up on the channel because they're just so anti anybody else doing it. That recording does exist though. Maybe one day. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so cute if the little Babu could be like Charmander one day and Squirtle the next day. Now my favorite Pokemon, because I know so little about Pokemon, but it's my favorite because it's this one I saw. It was like these two Pokemon are fighting and they, it, they pan over to the one Pokemon and it's this little droopy lopsided or whatever and he just goes Bellsprout. So Bellsprout's the bomb because I just could not stop laughing about that. And I think everybody should aspire to have their child dressed up like Bellsprout. Because if I had a child, I would have a Bellsprout thing custom made. If I had a child, I would have all sorts of- I would have a little RPD. Oh my gosh, there's gotta be RPD onesies, right? There has to be, somewhere. They're like on an Etsy store or something. That would be so cute. She would- uh, my friend was not super Resident Evil, but like, she was like a joke. And, uh, Dad is like one of those like Minecraft maestros. Maybe I can find a Minecraft one. Uh, but he's also just like huge brain, like computer engineer. So I'm very I love buying stuff for people's kids. Though it occurred to me after because we had dinner and I, I gushed over. Oh my god, you're a baby! And getting ready for the baby shower and all that. And I was like, I need your registry. Like, what do you want? Because, like, you want to buy people stuff that they're actually requesting. I think, anyway. Um, but then I... But they're like, we don't know. We don't know what we're doing. We don't, not yet. They're going to figure it out as they go. And... I got thinking about it. Like, they're going to have the baby shower in October. It's September now. And she was already like, oh, my back. Because she had the, the like, basketball-sized pregnancy belly. And I was like, oh, you know what I could get her? Because I was, I was girling out and I was having fun thinking about it. Because these are the kinds of things that had I had children, I would have wanted. And I was like, pregnancy pillow! So I ordered that and I sent it early. Because, like, I hear those are magical. I've thought of buying a pregnancy pillow even though I don't have a baby. Just because, like... I mean, it's just a big body pillow that, like, fits around you. And, I mean, it's meant to be that, like, you put your be your baby belly. It's got support for your baby belly. It's got support for your back because your bones pull apart when you're making a baby in the baby bag. You're cooking one up, shake and bake. And, you know, it's, you know, you can, in the between your knees, you don't need, like, a bajillion pillows to sleep at night. But, like, I got an old busted lower spine, and I was, like, I basically put all the pillows around me as if I was pregnant. Maybe I should buy one of those, but... It is way more fun to buy things for other people, and hopefully that will make her more comfortable. Well, she grows eyeballs and toes and stuff inside of her. I'm so excited. I don't know what the gender is yet, but 
I, I don't care. Babies are babies are exciting. And it's a, it's so it's exciting to see your friends go through it too. With like if you haven't like I know I'm supposed to be depressed and be like oh I don't have a baby but I'm not because like it's been a lot of fun to watch other people that I know do it because some of them did it <laughs> one of them did it in high school one of our friends another you know and watch them you know have their babies at different points in life and that kind of thing and uh, so far everybody has let me visit and hold their babies and send their even when they get growing older so. I get to I get to do all the fun stuff. And I get to see them being happy. Make babos. And I think that's fun. I would have liked to have had kids. But uh is it still possible? Of course, but uh I'm I'm not married, so I mean unlike my friends, I have rules. So I don't think it will happen, but th that's okay. I will be the cat lady slash bunny lady slash dog lady and I, for my friends and my family, I'm always willing to take your kids off your hands for an adventure. Give me your kids for a couple of weeks, particularly when they're teenagers and you hate them. We'll, uh, we'll go for, take them out in the woods. Oh no! I'll challenge uh, so, like my niece. Oh my gosh, my niece. I was looking forward to like, yeah, let's play video games. Except the kid already plays video games, but it's Fortnite. And I was like, this is not what I had in mind, but uh, I'll play it with her. Like, I need, I need, I need some not. No offense. I need some not female children to be born, so that I can be like Call of Duty, Call of Duty, like that. That sort of fun. Well, I need to have some more. I need some children in my life produced by other people for me to pass on. Like, so here's how you clear this room in Resident Evil 4 when they remake it for the eighth time. You know, I need some little boys around here. Lots of little girls, not very many little boys. Which, no, don't get me wrong, little girls are a lot of fun too. But, um, clearly I spend a lot of time doing little boy stuff. Think, well, not little boy, stuff that little boys would prefer. Yeah. Whatever. I'm so excited. So excited about babies. More babies! Everybody who I love, go make babies. I'll be here playing Resident Evil, absolutely not contributing to the human race. But, um, hey man, people are living longer than they ever did. I'm just skipping that stage. I was thinking about that the other day because it used to be like when I was growing up, it was not uncommon to hear about somebody who died in their 50s, like they had a heart attack or whatever. Like, that wasn't that weird. And you would retire, and if you made it to like your 70s, that was nuts. And if you were a man, you pretty much weren't going to because you probably have some heart disease or something like that. Like, at least in the demographic that I come from, like, blue collar, you know, those guys. The beer gut catches up with you or whatever. But now, like, people are living so long that most, so like, a lot of it, at least this is my understanding of this particular Oh no, done! Uh, industry is that insurance policies typically expire at 65, right? Like, uh, I have insurance products like critical illness insurance and various disability insurance. Like, I'm insured out the ass because I'm not married. And they typically max out at 65 and then you're on your own because you're just too risky by nature of your age. But, like, I, brought a pro I bought a product and I'm starting to see more of them. It max out at 75. Now, why does that matter? Because actuaries, those oracles of math that work on insurance companies, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like just Google it, actuaries, but with an A. And you have to have like, like, oh my goodness, like, I, I've worked around actuaries and they make me nervous because they're not people, they're machines. They've crunched all the numbers, like this is beyond being a statistician, and gone, okay, 
people live this long and it's no longer by virtue of just living that long sufficient risk to not offer a product that will bring in revenue so the confidence that we live much longer than we ever did before is, and, and by quite a large amount is is there and that's a little bit scary right because like i'm still expected to retire at about 65. now i work with people who are have passed 65 and they're staying they if they're not upper level like um vps and that kind of things they tend to just stay for a few years get a few extra bucks that kind of thing and then they go fuck it but like the VPs and the other sort of like middle area leadership, they'll just hang in there. Cause why not? But also, it's not really extra bucks anymore. Cause like how many how many boomers, like middle and elder boomers, shall we say, um, retired and then like didn't die? You know what I mean? Like they were like, uh, so I only had this much saved. And in Canada, we have something called old age security, and it's not very much. Uh, you end up on a fixed income no matter what. Even if you have like a company provided pension, like my dad does, um, it's still not very much. Like, how many boomers do I see working jobs, you know, at least part time? Because, well, one, they have to, but also, like, they're healthy enough. Like, they're not in a nursing home. Like, you don't go to the nursing home at 72 anymore. Like, my mom is 71. My father is 76, I think. Or 75. Wait, yeah. He might be 76. But, um, like, my parents had me quite late. But, um, still, like, they're, you know, my dad, so my dad has, the only thing with my dad is he has, and expanding a order, which is big, big, big trouble. And I'm always like, can you please just sit on your ass? But like, he won't. Like, they live out in the country. Uh, he and he and my stepmom, and they're super active because you know they got to take care of the place, and it keeps them real healthy and fit. And I'm looking at this going, I, I could easily live into my 80s or my 90s, possibly even more. I can't ret I can't retire and then have like a whole other lifetime. Like what do you what do you do with that? That's crazy. And because I didn't get married and I didn't have kids, like I have to pay people to take care of me. And that's a